Brother Abu Zaki from the KSA. Assalamu alaikum sir. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you sharing today? I'm fine, alhamdulillah, barakallahu feek. Yeah. I have one question. Uh, can dua be read in our own language in the Salat? No. And if so, which is the most uh, best time for dua in prayer? Please, can you give me any reference hadith or is it in Sunnah? Uh, because uh, I, I said this thing uh, to my family nearest uh, relatives that I heard from uh, Sheikh that uh, the sajda, the, uh, during sajda, the man is more closer to Allah and uh, in our own language we can ask any dua. No. But they say no, they check with one of the imam, local imam and they say no. They say no, only Arabic words can be read, uh, you cannot read this thing. Can you please give some uh, references? Thank you. Jazakallah khair. Wa jazakum barakallah fikum Abu Zaki. Thank you so much. Uh, in the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَمَّا السُّجُودِ فَأَكْثِرُوا فِيهِ مِنَ الدُّعَاءِ فَقَامِنَ أَنْ يُسْتَجَابَ لِأَحَدِكُمْ As far as for the sujood, the hadith is discussing what to do in ruku' and what to do in sujood. He said, as far as for the sujood, increase making dua in your sujood. Since it is more worthy and it is most likely for one's dua to be accepted if he or she were to invoke Allah in their prostration. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ مَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ Fulfill your duties to Allah to the best of your ability, as much as you can do. And he says in Surah Al-Baqarah, لَا يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا مُسْعَهَا Allah does not ordain any commandment on any person, on any soul beyond their capacity. And in the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, مَا أَمَرْتُكُمْ بِهِ فَأْتُوا مِنْهُ مَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ Whatever I commanded you to do, do or fit as much as you can do. So now we have a situation which the dua, the invocation is most praiseworthy. And we have a situation where a person does not know Arabic. Should he or she make dua, or should she stop or he stop because they can't make dua in Arabic? Keep in mind that the vast majority of the Ummah are non-Arab. Indo-Pak, Americans, South Americans, Japanese, um, Allah, over 82% of the Muslim Ummah, of the uh, 1.6 billion Muslims are non-Arab. And the vast majority of them do not know Arabic to the extent that they can phrase their own du'as or ask for their needs in their Arabic. Nor is it required for them to learn Arabic in order to phrase a du'a in the Arabic language. It is indeed sufficient to learn Arabic to be able to pray, offer the prescribed prayers and to recite the Qur'an and it will be great if you can understand the verses of the Qur'an. It is not fair whatsoever to say to somebody whose wife is giving birth and he's in need for Allah's help. So while he's praying, he's making dua in his sujood, but since he doesn't know Arabic, he says, you know what, I'm not allowed to make dua. Doesn't make any sense. Yes, there is a di difference of opinion, but the more right view that for non-Arab, those who do not know Arabic, it is permissible to make dua in their mother tongue in sujood. This is other than the prescribed supplications. Prescribed supplications like, what do we say in ruku' subhana rabbi al -azim. Can I say instead, glory be to my Lord the Great? No, that would not be sufficient. Why? Because I can say it in Arabic. Every person can say it in Arabic, even non-Arab, once they accept Islam and start learning. In their sujood, in between the two sajdas, it is a must to recite this dua. رَبَّ اغْفِرْ لِي وَسَامِحْنِي وَهْدِنِي وَأَجِرْنِي وَعَافِنِي وَرْزُقْنِي سَمِعَ اللَّهُ لِمَنْ حَمِلَ تَكْبِرَاتُ الْإِحْرَامِ So these are the prescribed invocations which you must recite it as is. But the voluntary one, making dua, asking Allah for any need, you can do it in your mother tongue.